basic stuff, but I want you to pay particular attention to two things when you pitch and chip. So chipping is a one lever stroke, meaning you're not doing a lot of wrist break. It's basically taking a, an eight iron or a pitching wedge and just making a putting stroke. But your descent angle, or the angle of attack, which is defined as the the angle between the club face and the ball in the descending portion of the swing, right in here, if we were just move this forward a little bit, he's hitting about a 30 yard shot here. And as you come into the ball here, that would be defined as the descent angle. I gotta call you back because I'm in the middle of a lesson. Who is this? Is that okay? Who is this? Yeah, at OnlyGolfPark.com. Yep. All right, so when you hit a shot, what part of the golf club? is hitting the ground first. On a short shot, it should be the bottom of the club. If you get the club face coming down and it's pointing toward the ground, this way, the face is gonna close too rapidly, and if you hit the ground with the face closed, the leading edge is gonna dig. You want to make sure the face is coming in from open to close. So on the back swing, you want to get that toe up in the air. That's really important in the short game. So when he takes it back, that toe is getting up in the air, and when he comes down, it's closing like a door. And the bottom. I see he's got a lot of wrist. Uh, a little bit. Not. Right, right, and that's more of a like I said. This is more of like a 30-yard shot. Okay. Uh, think of, uh, let me see if I can find another spot here. I know on the short stuff it's like a putting stroke. Right, right. Like, say... Just to get over a sand trap or something. Right. And then in terms of the setup, where's, you can see here where his... That's Middle the ball. Right, right. And so... What kind of action does he use? Well, he's hitting, again, think of the hands of a clock. And this is sort of how I want you to view the shots. All right, so if you're going to hit a golf shot 20 yards, I want you to monitor how far your hands go back. So what does that mean? Well, for me, when I hit a 20-yard shot, my hands are going to go back just below about the top of my right thigh. So that's about 20 yards. Now, that's going to depend on a couple things, which club you're using, because the angle of the club will have something to do with it. Now, if you're using a sand wedge, I suspect that swing right there will give you about 20 yards. All right. If I want to go to 35 yards, now that's 20 yards carry. So, 20 yards carry, right about there, just about the top of the right thigh. 35 yards carry is where my hands reach just above the right hip. And I'm thinking that's a good measurement for about 35 yards. 50 yards is right about where your hands get to the center of your chest. So right at your sternum, right at your middle of your chest, right about there. 65 yards, you're going to be top of the shoulder. Somewhere around there. Now you may not get that far. Right. So you might have to take a different club. Because most folks can get the club all the way above their right shoulder. And, well, I say most. I shouldn't say most. But anyway, so that's sort of how you would look at it. And then in terms of the, the clock scenario, what you want is symmetry. So if you go back to the 20-yard position, you want to come through to that 20-yard position. You want symmetry in terms of the length of the swing and the speed of the swing. So, you know, when I say the speed, this is a great exercise. Everything I'm saying is recorded so you can watch it. 
but one one thousand two. So this is the simplest way to. I, this is how I do it when I'm playing. One one thousand two. One one thousand two. So one, I initiate the movement, or you could say one and two. One and two. And is the top of my backswing. Two is impact. Now. As you get longer with your swing, the speed of your swing is going to get faster because the rate of time doesn't change. Watch. One and two. One and two. So you have that inner cadence to monitor. One and two. One and two. So now you start to instinctively have a method to this madness where not only are you trying to get symmetrical in terms of length and speed but you have a cadence in your head and that cadence will give you the rhythm and the speed that you want to have so does it take practice absolutely does anything that you want to do in anything take practice yeah I mean uh, playing the piano playing the guitar whatever so what other characteristics are fairly evident here is the club face it's not like a normal golf shot where the face rotates so that on the back swing the toe is up and on the forward swing the toe is up so that's not actually how you chip and pitch it's more of a face staying square to the target so there's not a lot of hand action in that shot and by and large his weights gonna be centered over his front foot so there's not a lot of weight to the back leg at all. In fact, I would say if you were going to hit this shot, you should just set your upper body over your front leg. Just tack it right over that front leg. All right. So that's that's a little bit. Back foot open. Well, no. Actually, if you look at the toes here, the feet are actually rotated toward the target, and there's a reason oh, for that. Because of the chip. Okay. Yeah. But I was in the bigger, like an eight. Right, eight. right, right. Normal right. shot. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, and so uh, the reason we turn the feet this way is because we want to have a little bit of weight on the forward leg, and we gotcha. want to maintain it that way. All right. Now, let's go to one other shot here, and I won't belabor the point too long. Bunker shots. We're going to get into that a little bit today. Uh, now, one thing that's pretty important on a bunker shot is setting the face. You can see how the club face is rotated just a little this way. That's to expose the bottom of the club. That's open to start with. Right. So he's opened it a little bit, right? But he does it in a way that's really important to note, and that is he presets the face before he puts his hands on the golf club and then takes his grip. So it's not take your grip and then open the face. Now if you open the face 10 degrees you gotta open your stance and an open stance simply means you just bring this foot back a little bit. And then what's really not evident here is a wide base. You wanna have a wide base and the reason you wanna have a wide base is you wanna limit the amount of shifting of your weight. In fact your lower body really stays very stable in the bunker. I like to have most of my weight on my front. I actually have my knees positioned so that they're pitched toward the target a little bit. And I want the hands a little lower. So I want your hands to be down here, not up here. And the reason is with the lower hands, again, you're exposing the bounce of the club more. And that's really important. So one other point here, as it comes through, watch, watch the hands here. Watch the club head, rather, is what I should be saying here. Watch. There it is. So there's the face. It's not really closing down much. And again, you can see where his weight is. It's pretty much on the front. All right.